We're in game number one. We got Mile versus Night Owl. Night Owl, if you guys weren't here last stream, on a bit of a streak. He played his first game against Flitz a couple days ago. Uh, and he did lose that one in a best of five. He lost in game five. But since then, he's played on one more stream. And he went up against three different people. And spoilers, he dominated. Uh, he went, he took the whole gambit. He got a 3-0, a 3-1, and then a 3-2 to finish it off. Uh, most impressive at the end there, taking down Dries, uh, who has been a highly rated player for the past month or so. And when I say high, I mean like top 10, sometimes as high as number one NA. But today, Night Owl tries his best against maybe his best opponent yet, which is Mile, who's only ever played once on stream, is currently the top of the rank ladder. Number one, not just North America, but out of everybody. Uh, he's ready to get back into 1v1s and get into these show matches. I think he played recently against Brisky on Johnny Boy stream, it seemed like, and he 3 0 Brisky then. Uh, so now he called out Fear. He said, Give me Night Owl after he watched yesterday and saw Night Owl be so dominant in his three games. He says, I could take him down. He's in chat saying he's going to get a 3-0, but so far, at the beginning of this game, Night Owl is up 2-0. Trying to keep that momentum from yesterday, or two days ago. Miles only played one time before on stream. If you noticed in the title, you'll see that Miles technically never won. Uh, he played one show match against Magic Bear not too long ago when both him and and Magic Bear were in the top 100. That was, or sorry, the top 100, the top 10. Um, that was the only game either one of those two have played on stream. Uh, on our stream, that is. But Miles back now. Says he's ready to compete in the Fear 500, wants to be able to join the league, so he's ready to put up some impressive shows. Maybe try and work his way into not needing to qualify for it, but so far, a minute 30 through game number one in Night Owl with the early lead as he pops this up to himself. Not a very dangerous attack by him, but he is able to steal that boost, but this counter attack is gonna be enough for Mao to put in his first goal. Cut that deficit in half. One thing that Nine Owl has been doing so well in his past few show matches is his kickoff. Uh, I would actually say the one reason why he, he actually ended up not winning the show match he did lose was because he was almost more 50-50 on kickoffs in that one. Um, of course, I cast or cursed him as he's going to lose the kickoff goal right now to have it be tied back up at 2-2. But all of Tuesday, uh, he was dominating on the kickoffs and really just made up for any of the other mistakes he was making, which there were some. It's not like he had no chinks in the armor. Miles back is mile 2.0, apparently. So I don't know how we could bet against him. Nice power shot here. Night Owl should be able to tap it up, though. Continuation from Mile. Maybe didn't realize that Night Owl had enough boost to get up and take that away. But he had exactly enough boost to take it away as he's trying to keep the pressure on with a couple pads he could pick up. This low 50-50 is going to force him to fully retreat. Something that we saw at a Night Owl a lot on Tuesday. He managed to Never let the ball in, or sorry, at least let the ball in less often than he scored. This time, Miles going to take a nice low 50-50. A little bit of a fake jump, getting uh, Night Owl to come up early by using that first jump early. Nice flip into the ball. Is going to put him into the lead 3-2 here. Night Owl uh, committing a crime, if you ask me, playing in an orange car, but with a blue boost. But nice low 50 after a bump in the corner. Just a good... Continuation off the kickoff as these guys both vie for that corner boost. Night Owl wins it out and is able to turn it in for a goal. Night Owl sees in chat that Drewski is going to give him mod if he's able to get off the win. And so he squeezes the kickoff goal to take back the lead here. It just got there faster. I we should have watched from Miles' perspective. It looks like Miles just completely missed. As he goes for a flip very wide of the ball. Goes for the much safer front flip kickoff this time around. Making sure he makes that connection. 
Nice jump delayed flick from Night Owl. Not dangerous enough to really force out a tough save from Mile. This counterattack is coming out from him. Low boost situation. He's going to try and keep the pressure on. Night Owl doing a good job of conserving that boost. He's going to be able to use it to get that full clear. One knock you can give Night Owl is he does sometimes seem to get a little lost taking that ball up into the air. On Tuesday, he was not quite getting those great first touches to set up those aerial opportunities like he would like. It was probably hitting one that he could actually use only one third of the time. Right there, he goes up and has to completely hand over the ball to Mile as Mile's going to set up a nice isolation opportunity, but he just launches a power shot wide of the net. Not dangerous at all. Hopefully, he's able to turn this second attack into something, but still, another weak shot. The best thing he's taking from this is keeping possession as he goes for an early tap and maybe trying to bump Night Owl on the wall. But even if he did make connection with the bump, it was going to be a real hard time turning that in for a goal. This musty flick gets a tough save and Night Owl is going to keep going for the bumps. But unless he goes for the ball eventually, he's not going to be able to score. Night Owl doesn't necessarily need to score. It's a nice 50-50 on the wall. Should give him his fifth goal and put him up two here. Night Owl. On fire here, going up against the number one ranked player. Both Night Owl and Mile in chat saying that Mile was going to win. These guys just trading 50 50s over and over and over again. Three perfect ties. Mile is finally going to take it away. The shot from the side of field, not able to go in, and Night Owl gets a little chip off his own post, which maybe. Helped relieve some of the pressure. A little bit of a fake challenge. He dives in pretty deep. He's able to make it back. Keep this ball to his net. This tap will be soft. Night Owl keeps it glued to the wall. So he can stay behind it. But gets a little, a lot, a little bit lost. And he will get scored on here. Still up one though. 17 seconds left. Just needs to keep Mile out. Off the kickoff. Night Owl just one turn too many up on that wall. Needed to head back to net. And give up on the fact that he was not going to be able to keep the pressure on. Realizes that too late as he's stuck in no man's land up on the wall with zero boost. But this nice kickoff might be all he needs to secure this game number one win. Doing well to keep some pressure on. Electing to go back like we saw before. This power shot nowhere close though. He'll be able to save it. That tap up was pretty dangerous. He put it in, in a space that Mile might be able to get to it. Mile's still able to get under it and keep us playing at least for the time being. Night Owl gets the clear. He's going to win game number one. Game number two, Night Owl versus Mile. Mile's prediction of winning 3-0 that he put in the chat is not going to come to fruition as Night Owl takes game number one. Soft tap from Night Owl. Certainly not going to go in. Needs to create something out of it on this continuation. He's got all the boost as Mile sits with the couple pads he's been able to pick up. But once again, Night Owl getting a little bit lost with this aerial. Lucky that he's fully starved Mile out, otherwise he definitely would be getting counterattacked. Never mind, doesn't matter, he's getting a counterattack anyways, because Night Owl used up all his boost on this weak aerial attempt. Certainly a flaw in Night Owl's game. Falls a little bit too in love with going for some aerial attempts that cost him all his boost. Needs to maybe realize when he's missed out on them. Go for a low 50-50 on them instead of using all 100 of that boost is going to result in him losing out this goal number one. Nice long shot from Mile. Just enough to get past Night Owl. Good placement here. Night Owl maybe if he grabs one more pad gets a little bit closer, but I don't think he's making there in time. Mile takes the early lead in game number two after trailing early in game one he started to figure out night owl nice long clear but low boost and night owl has to continually keep this ball out of his net mile keeping the pressure on 
Nice tap high. Now that was a low boost situation. He should be able to secure a goal here, and he does. Nice placement from Mile. Putting it in that top left corner. Night Owl, even if he did get ahead of this one and saved it, it was going to get continued easily by Mile. Good pressure by him to take advantage of a low boost defender. Rio, a minute 30 in the game number two. Complete reversal. Might out, might owl. Mile not giving Night Owl any breathing room. Certainly playing much closer as a defender than Night Owl did yesterday in the first part of today and this backflip challenge. Maybe Night Owl not expecting it. That flick just pushed right into that perfect wall Mile created with his backflip. He's going to get a fourth goal easy. Night Owl needs to break the seal of this game number two. It would be nice if he could get it with a kickoff, but another way to get it is just a free wide open goal. Mile getting a little bit greedy. Maybe feeling fully in control here. Oh, just a nice first tap by by Night Owl. Not often that a player in that corner goes for a strong touch out to center field. Normally, if Mile isn't completely diving on him, that first touch is more of a pass out to the opponent. But Night Owl makes a good read. Ends up pushing it right past him. But a weak challenge from him. This will be a fifth goal for Mile. A little bit of a fake there. He thought Mile was going up, taking a flip challenge. But nice low 50-50 attempt really from Mile. He was barely even counting on Night Owl to flip. If, if Night Owl had made contact, he would have just 50 did low and most likely still taken over control of that ball. Night Owl, low boost situation. Needs to keep that dribble low when he bounces it high. Certainly favors... The player with more boost in that situation he had significantly less nice flip to get back on the wall but a little bit of a pass to mile just kind of losing out on what he was trying to do maybe fell in love a little bit too much with just touching that ball again it was a good display of uh car control but did not need that last touch is ended up just being a free pass over to mile for goal six he's going to try and prevent the brazil from happening he gets control off this kickoff but one power slide turn a little bit too far it means he's going to end up having to retreat. And Miles starting to boost starvation. Misses a touch on the wall, though. And a demo means Night Owl should be able to tap it in fairly easily. Unless Miles gets some insanely nice RNG. Not even sure it would have mattered. As Night Owl taps it in. He's got two minutes left. And we've seen quite the scoring barrage from him before. So certainly this is not out of reach for him. As he was in some very high scoring games. Especially the way that Night Owl likes to play. He frequently gives lots of open space to his opponent. Tries to save the ball away and then, you know, use that opportunity for himself. Uh, and maybe the reason why is because his close challenges aren't so great. As his backflip challenge just ends up popping it into Mile and making it even easier for him to score his seventh goal. Mile, we've yet to, uh, with only one game so far on stream, yet to really learn how he likes to play. Certainly his game against Magic Bear was one of the more exciting ones we've had. Um, I remember having lots of mechanically um, hard, gifted shot attempts. Not quite like this one. This has been more straightforward than maybe your average uh, show match. But him and Magic Bear really put on a show. Night Owl is setting up a backwards dribble. I don't know if he's just trying to get a little fancy here. He uses the half flip to power it, but at the end of the day, it's still going to be fairly easy for Mile to save. Mile's going to do some of the same. Show you whatever you can do. I can do better. Both these guys, I think, playing backwards, but Night Owl is able to tap it out. But with no boost, Mile in full control, he's able to get back around it. 
tap that one in for number eight. I don't know if Night Owl actually ever even got there. He just kind of bumped Mile. Mile missed high on his own almost. 8-2. And it might be time for Night Owl to give up on game number one. Interesting. Power dribble. Actually, almost... Power slide dribble. Almost able to squeeze it in. It seems like both these guys playing a little bit more relaxed knowing the... Results of the game is decided. First air dribble bump attempt, or not even air dribble bump, just nice redirection right there at the last second. I think he almost got a little bit of a pogo off the back wall. Yeah, he got a little slam off the back wall to redirect it at the last second. Might have been headed in either way. Night Owl only been able to squeeze, I think, a single kickoff goal in in this series so far. Certainly shows how much he relies on it in those previous games. Nice flip reset shot here from Mile to secure, super secure this game, number two. That will win the last kickoff here. Might be able to give a Doomsie Dish. No. He's stopped out. We'll see. Miles not going to try and shoot this last one, but he's going to try and make us all sick. Everyone just threw up in chat. My goodness. Game two goes to Mile. Starting game number three. As both these guys trying to win this game to put themselves on match point, Mile currently with. The momentum big time as he wins game number two, 10 2. Night Owl only scoring a couple, or at least one of those two, at the end of the game when it was certainly over and Mile had started to relax a little bit. Night Owl almost put in an own goal here. I think these guys. Did they trade colors? It's hard for me to remember. Night Owl with a demo should be able to follow this one up. He's going to start this game 1 0. Both these guys have won when they've been the first to score. Mile scoring the first three and Night Owl scoring the first two in those first two games. Mile with low boost. He's going to press this one off the backboard. Trying to get a little bit greedy there. Should get counterattacked fairly easy. Night Owl with a good kickoff in order to set himself up to grab boost. He really could have gotten boost and ball, but Mile elected to stay with his zero boost and go for a somewhat aggressive attack. Powering that ball off the backboard. Maybe should have given up after that. Gone for the reset, but tried to go up against a full boost Night Owl. And that challenge was no good. So Night Owl goes up 2-0. Oh my goodness, Night Owl just getting caught out. Diving a little bit too deep with his shadowing. Something that I do want to see him start experimenting with more after playing on his back line so much in the last few series. Maybe we're finding out why he prefers to wait on the goal line for people. I hasn't quite figured out that best distance to play that shadow defense as there's really no trouble for Mile at all to hit that over him. Just ended up diving in too deep with his fake challenge. Night Owl not able to corral this one quite off the wall, but gets a good 50-50. Backflip, half-flip to get uh, that ball under control. And Miles trying to stay close and keep Night Owl from being able to set something up. Night Owl loses the ball a little bit there. Just a bad first tap. I Means he's not going to be able to set up the flick he wants to. Ends up having to give away possession. Nice pressure from Mile, who just refuses to get off the ball right now. Nice 50 from him again. And a demo here means he should be able to tie it up. 2-2. Two -two.
Miles staying all over this ball in this game number three. It's a kickoff weak from him, but good positioning to make up for it means Night Owl is just going to slam it into him. Nice backflip challenge. It's very risky coming out from Night Owl to make sure you hit those online. Now going to take maybe one of our first full field air dribbles here. As he tries to slow it down and get that last second touch like those good players do on those air dribbles this time though. Night Owl able to read it out. Not quite enough height on that last touch. I think Night Owl wanted a power shot there but hits it a little bit early. So it gets caught rolling. Just took all the air out of that ball with that hit. Mile just making Night Owl uncomfortable in front of the net. But Night Owl doing what he does best, which is just holding on to that controller, regardless of how close that ball gets to his net. Something that he's definitely done well is he's unfazed waiting at the goal line. As Mile was trying his best to bait him into coming up. Let's see if he goes for it again. This time he's just going to try and place it nice in the top left corner. That's going to go crossbar down and get him his goal number three. Nice shot from him. Ends up, I think it was ended up going in either way, but Night Owl does redirect it to finish it off. Night Owl with an impressive touch off kickoff to be able to get back to the ball, but maybe ended up being just a little bit too greedy as it turns out. An impressive play just to get that touch and steal the boost, but turns out not worth it. As Miles able to take this off the wall. For an easy counterattack. Four two with a minute fifty left. This game a little bit lower scoring than we saw in game number two. Night Owl has stopped the bleeding a little bit, but since the start of game two, the score is fourteen to four, which is not good. For the future of Night Owl in this show match. Nice backflip challenge again from these guys. Both these guys doing a good job of splicing in some backwards challenges. When they set up those shadows, you frequently can't afford to fully turn to make that contest. Sometimes it's hard to hit those backwards challenges, but these guys are the best. And that's why they're sitting at the top of the ladder. Miles centimeters away from securing that demo and what would certainly have been a fifth goal. Nice. 50-50. Right outside the net. Night Owl not able to continue it. Those are the kind of the hits that he needs to secure if he wants to entertain the idea of winning this game. I think I remember Mile playing uh, very backwards in the Magic Bear series. Nice bump from him. I think Night Owl even pushed him strong enough to put him back into the ball, but it doesn't matter. Not enough. Oh, no, he didn't. He missed it ever so slightly. But I do remember seeing Mile play backwards more often than anybody else uh, I've ever seen play. Usually, these players stick away from doing anything backwards, except for shadowing, of course. But I mean, like, backwards dribbles or backwards possession uh, on offense. But Mile seems to be comfortable in it. Has scored a few goals against Magic Bear and has done well so far against Night Owl. Night Owl is just going to tap this one in and really secure this game number three for Mile. Another poor shadowing attempt from Night Owl. Unfortunately, right now, he can't afford to go back to where he feels comfortable just waiting in that net for those challenges because he needs to put the pressure on with only 20 seconds left. But with that goal, this game number three should be going a mile. Should be putting himself on match point. These kickoff goals are coming a little too late and he's still not able to secure it. Hard tap off the wall. Not able to get under it with a dribble that he'd like. Does get behind the ball, but not enough. It is going to be 7-2. Just a couple of weak touches by Night Owl. Not able to initiate that dribble like he wanted to. Ended up being too far under the ball to corral it. So he ended up popping it straight up in the air. Looks like the final scoreline of Game 3 will be 7-2. My Mile on match point. Yes, you and Asher are going to play last. 
as Milan Night Owl go into game. Is not sure if there's something up with. Uh, I always forget when I press the scoreboard. I gotta change that. I think scoreboard can come up right here. Yeah, I need to do that from now on. Uh, Mile going for the slow kickoff. The first one to really mix up the kickoff so far this series, but I don't know why he did. This almost seemed like a controller or connection issue with how easily Night Owl is going to tap in his first goal. But Mile will take it right back. And we're all tied up six seconds in. Night Owl going to take possession and 100 boost off the kickoff, but another dribble kept too high on the top of his car. Mile with the early challenges really working out for him as Night Owl just not able to get the space he wants. Don't know why I keep touching that. Maybe it's time to start peppering in some uh, early flicks or early pops to keep Mile out of those early, early challenges. And there's going to be an easy touch for him as we're maybe getting a little bit of tilt out of Night Owl. Not sure what happened here. Just a whiff. Not something you see very often from guys like these, especially someone as mechanically gifted as Night Owl. Maybe he's starting to really feel the pressure here against Mile. The number one ranked on the ladder right now. Night Owl setting up a dribble this time. He actually gets it on the top of his car where he wants. Good placement from him and just a backflip from Mile, but Night Owl not able to capitalize off it. This is the kind of stuff that's going to get into a player's head when they have their opportunities to score. When their opponent leaves that net wide open and they don't convert, those are the ones they feel like they definitely need back. It's hard to keep that morale up high when you're in desperate need of those goals and they almost get handed to you and you can't finish it. This is what tilts are made of, but nice flick on low boost here is going to get him his second goal. I am calling that way too soon. Nice recovery from Mile, because I thought Night Owl had got up high enough, but this demo means if Mile can get around this ball fast enough, it should be another goal, and he does. Not a bad spawn from Night Owl, but not good enough, because Mile's going to go up 4-1. Another kickoff loss for Night Owl. The only way I can see him coming back here is if he starts consistently hitting and winning some kickoffs, even if he's not scoring immediately off of them. So important to have the first possession on every goal. Nice play here from him, though. There's a couple pops in the air. Lulls Mile to sleep, and he's able to convert it. Forcing Mile to take that indirect path with that bump attempt. The Fear 500, guys, is a league that we're doing. I call it the Fear 500 because 500 is an alliteration with fear. I don't know. The point is it's a $500 prize pool and we're gonna get eight of these guys who've been playing, eight of these guys who've been playing show matches on these streams um, to essentially just get in the league, a little bit of an organized set of show matches here. It's a nice shot from Mile. As he takes to the air and gets the flip reset. Night Owl just kind of gets caught looking here. But yeah, we're doing this league just as a way to structure. We've been doing these show matches all March. And we've been really cranking them out. So I had the idea to put some money down. And maybe get a little bit of a structure behind uh, these games that we're playing. And get a little bit of a league and have some playoffs. And get some, some nice bigger prize pools for these people. Nice backflip by Night Owl just to pop it over a mile. Get that goal number three. Night Owl is certainly not out of this. With over half the game left and only two goals down. Another opportunity that he really needed, as I said, he gets that ball off kickoff. And even though he doesn't get a kickoff goal, he's able to get that first possession and turn it in. So yeah, we're going to see. There are going to be eight people in the league for the Fear 500. We're going to have some people will auto-qualify. Um, for example, I don't feel afraid to admit that Kinsey will for sure be auto-qualifying as he's 11-0 on the stream. And has been dominant 
So we'll have a couple more people that will likely auto qualify, but then we'll have qualifiers. I think we're going to do two of them for most likely the last four spots. That could increase to the last five spots. Uh, we'll see. Probably not any less than four spots to qualify for. And that'll be on April 13th and April 14th. Um, the Monday and Tuesday, and I think a couple weeks from now. So if you're interested, make sure to hit me up and play in those qualifiers. Night Owl, though, is going to tie it back up while we're talking about the Fear 500. He's trying to make his case for not having to play in the qualifiers. And doing a good job of that now. As he ties it back up here against the number one ranked player. Chronic, what do you have to do to not play? Uh, if you play like a couple show matches, win them both here, that might be good enough. We'll see. We have probably two, three more streams as Mile puts going over six on before we do the qualifiers. Chronic, though, of course, you likely would ha not have too much issue qualifying, considering your history in 1v1. But let's focus up a little bit more on the game here, as we could be coming to the end of this series, as Miles looking to secure it, and he's currently up one. Nice pressure here from Night Owl, though. As he tries to slap mile off the wall is unable to connect and his first shot is not in and the demo doesn't mean not is going to reset here able to set up anything he wants but not enough boost to really take this to the air he's going to have to play something low but nice flick good placement and a backflip from mile is mile able to get around this night owl has got to be beating himself up on the inches he has given up here so many goals that he's been just a couple degrees away from scoring and he's gonna get counterattacked right away it's just nearly impossible to not tilt in situations like this looking at a two goal deficit with a minute left trying to keep this series alive I'll take it to the air again. Nice double tap. Thought this second tap was a little bit far out of the net. To make it past Night Owl. Something we've been talking about how crucial it is to get that last tap right inside the box. But gets enough speed behind it. Night Owl needing to wait to see whether Milo is going to try and play it slow or fast. Ends up waiting just a little bit too long. And with a three goal lead. Night Owl is going to start needing some miracles. And it might start right here with a nice 50-50. He can get this ball to the net fast enough. Or at least get a good enough flick. But he doesn't. Good retreat from Mile. Mile's been doing a really good job of recovering on these opportunities. Oh, nice 50-50. This has got to be it. Midfield. Mile's going to make a 6. So we're going to jump off Mile. Doing 360s. He's feeling comfortable now. Maybe baited Night Owl a little bit into there. Into trying to take that shot when he saw Mile going up. Popping some 360s. Thirty-seven seconds left. We're gonna need to see a goal every ten seconds at least from Night Owl. And as the clock drains out, we might be seeing Miles' first victory. Another good 50-50 from him. Night Owl's not moving the car. He says I lost. He forfeits. Good game, well played. 10-5 in favor of Mile. Good showing from Night Owl though. Jet0201 does call it out, though. He's just too smart. I mean, these guys don't get to the top of the leaderboard for no reason. <laughs>